and nuts for the not clutch. Find out why now. Hey there, back with another handbag review. And the one we're going to discuss in this video isn't necessarily a bag that is super popular. It doesn't rival the Chanel 255, the Hermes Birkin, or even the Gucci Hobo bag in terms of popularity though, where it does compete is on the level of being a timeless classic. This bag will be in style today, tomorrow, and 15 years from now. What is it? It is the Bottega Veneta Knot Clutch. This particular bag we're going to review today is the Gilded Wax Leather Knot Clutch. And uh, I absolutely love it. I've even thought of consigning this bag and getting rid of it. Then I did a double take and I said, no, I can't, because it really is that timeless. I'll share with you some of the pros, some of the cons, as well as some of the history of this bag that really is one that can become a wardrobe staple for many reasons. So a little bit about the history of the Bottega Veneta Knot Clutch. Uh, when Thomas Mayer took over as Bottega's creative director in 2001, he wanted to bring back this bag because he loved its beautiful rounded shape. It's simple, it's stylish, and it's super elegant. What he also wanted to do is make the closure different, this sort of iconic closure that you see on all knot clutches. What Bottega did not do though, is they didn't keep an archive collection of all their previous bags in the 80s and 90s. So the creative team at Bottega had to go back through vintage stores, as well as through private collections to really discover the history of this bag in terms of the locking mechanism, the shape, the style, the weight, all the particulars that go into making a quality bag. I would think that'd be kind of a fun thing to do, right? It's sort of like a fashion treasure hunt or scavenger hunt. I think that'd be absolutely fabulous. So Thomas Mayer redesigned this bag, put the knot closure on it back in 2001, and it has become an absolute rock star, in my opinion. Um, Bottega has offered some form or fashion of this particular knot clutch bag in every collection since 2001. This bag is the Gilded Wax Leather Knot Clutch. It is from the Fall Winter 2012 collection, I believe. Um, and I can tell you that it is one that is chic, stylish, and it's a bag that I'm always complimented on wherever I go. I purchased this bag in October of 2012 from the online flash sale site, rulala.com. Uh, this bag, I believe, retailed between $12.50 and $15.50 when it debuted in 2012. I paid $1,049 plus like nine bucks and change in shipping, no tax because it was shipping out of state to me here in Texas. So I ended up paying $1,058 for this bag. And let me just go through and show you what exactly I got in the bag and what I like and don't like about it. So the bag came to me from Rue La La just like this in the Bottega dust bag, as you see here. It's, it's a tiny bag, it's real compact, so it fits pretty much anywhere. If you want to travel with it, it makes a great travel bag because it just goes in any suitcase super easily. So here's the bag itself. Again, I mean, it fits completely in my hand. My hands are <laughs> actually bigger than the bag. <laughs> I can palm a basketball, so maybe that says something. Um, where's my ruler? It's, it's not big by any stretch. And I'll show you how limited it is in terms of what it can store. So it's about six inches long by about an inch and one quarter wide and about four inches tall. If you factor in the knot closure, it's about four and a half inches tall. Tiny, tiny, tiny compact bag. Now the downside of buying from Rue La La is that I don't know what the story is behind this bag. I don't know if it was a floor sample model. I don't know if it was pre-owned. I don't know if it was brand new. I don't think it was brand new and I'll tell you why. But when you buy from these sites, um, when they offer flash sales, you're kind of taking a gamble and putting your faith in the retailer or e-tailer, in this case, that they vetted the bag, vetted the um, previous owner, and then they know the story behind this bag. So I'm not gonna lie, I was a little disappointed 
when I received this bag because if you notice right there, there's a little blemish. Do you see that? Just a tiny little black spot on the gold leather right there. Um, again, it doesn't bother me that much and I'm sure I could have had it fixed over the years, but I think when you start messing with bags like these where they have the dyed leather in terms of the gold and the wax leather in terms of the black, I think you can perhaps do more harm than good. I'm just really careful when I carry it. I deal with a little blemish and move on. So I first saw this bag in the Bottega Veneta store in Dallas, Texas. We have one at North Park Mall and I absolutely loved it. I walked into the store, I saw this gold on black and I fell in love. I thought it was chic, stylish, and timeless. I personally love the gold and black combination, that color combination. I just think it's sexy with a bit of an edge. And to that point, you could wear this bag to the most formal of occasions. I could wear it to any ball, any crystal charity ball in Dallas, the Diffa ball, the Metropolitan Opera ball. I feel comfortable carrying this, but I think you can also wear it with like black denim jeans and a blazer and a sexy tank top on a night out. I think it's perfectly stylish for a number of situations. Um, so I just loved it. And I kept my eye on it because again, I think it retailed between $1,250 and $1,500. So I wasn't interested at that price point. When it came on sale at Rue La La, one of those 48 hour flash sale sites, I decided to jump and I made the purchase. So here you see the bag. It's this beautiful dyed gold leather with what they're calling here a waxed leather on the black. I think it just creates this beautiful contrast. And you'll notice it's sort of uneven. I like that. It adds an organic nature to the whole bag. It's beautifully lined in the gold leather around all the metal enclosures, lined on the bottom with one solid strip of leather, lined all the way around. And then it's got the really chic knot clutch, knot closure right here. I don't know if you can see it, but it's labeled Bottega Veneta on each cap of this knot closure. You open the bag like so. This is how it opens, this, this knot. I've always been kind of worried that I was gonna break this knot off, maybe after too many cocktails. <laughs> Haven't done that yet, so we shall see. But you open the bag like so, and this is what it looks like on the inside. A beautiful suede, um, sort of a dark beige suede interior with my Rue La La delivery. I got a little card with a serial number on it, the authenticity card, and then the Bottega care card for this particular bag as well. It's, it's super simple. Um, sometimes the most difficult things are the simplest things. The most difficult things to produce are the simplest things. So you see the interior here. It is debossed right here, Bottega Veneta, made in Italy. It's a gorgeous bag. It's stylish and chic, but there's a downside to it. I can't carry anything in this bag. So let me just show you what fits in here. Um, I like to carry mints everywhere I go. If I put this box of mints in here, that's about all I could fit. So I deal with potentially having bad breath anytime I carry this bag. Um, powder, so you put some powder in here. This barely fits. Um, on a night out, I'll take some lipstick, some lip liner. I'm already approaching full status here. Um, some lip gloss, and look, I can't close it. It's so tiny that you really can't fit a lot into it. This lip liner is too big, so I can't carry some lip liner. Um, the powder, it's too thick. I can barely close it with the powder in it. So you can't carry some powder. I do like to carry a, um, a brush to apply my powder with. So sometimes I'll just throw the brush in there and apply the powder on the brush before I leave for the night. But the brush I have, the powder brush I have is so large that it barely fits in here as well. Um, so really you're kind of limited. Lipstick and lip gloss. If you want to use your cell phone, an iPhone, this is an iPhone 5. Barely fits, but here's the thing. My iPhone 5 
I literally have about 15 minutes of talk time and use time on it because the battery's so dead and I'm too cheap. My upgrade um, doesn't come until January, excuse me, June of 2015, so I'm waiting for the upgrade to buy a new one. So I have to carry a battery pack. The battery pack doesn't fit. So I'm just gonna have to talk to my people instead of talking on the phone or texting on the phone whenever I carry this bag. So that's the downside. If you carry this bag, um, you have to be very selective in terms of what it is you will carry throughout the course of the evening. Taking that into consideration, I still think it's a wonderful, beautiful, stylish bag to add to your collection at any time. And I think this bag will be stylish 20 years from now. Uh, look forward to passing it on down to my daughter in future years. Um, as for what it sells for now, the basic model with that beautiful woven exterior, you can find that on a variety of sites like Blue Fly, net porter and NeimanMarcus.com. That starts at about $15.50. That's sort of the base entry-level model of this Bottega Veneta Knot Clutch. Starts at about $15.50 and then it runs upwards of there. Um, for some more intricate models, I've seen it $3,000 and up. Um, I've seen various lengths, more of a longer bag, a more rectangular size versus an oval square size like this one. There are many varieties. Bottega comes out with a new one each and every season. Um, like I said, can't rank a minute enough, except for the fact you have to be incredibly selective when you uh, pack for the evening. So that leads me to my question of the video. What are your essentials? When you're going out on the town at night, what are your bare bones essentials that you pack in a tiny bag? For me, it's lipstick, lip gloss, and a cell phone. Money, of course. I always take a credit card, ID, and some cash. Those are my bare minimum essentials. Lip gloss, lipstick, cell phone, money, ID, and credit card. Let me know what your essentials are. I'd love to know what I'm missing, what I'm forgetting what I'm screwing up. Let me know in the comments section what your night out essentials are. Also let me know if you'd like to see any other bags reviewed. Um, I've got a number in the queue, so to speak. I'll be reviewing a YSL Muse bag in the coming weeks, but let me know if there are any other bags you'd like to see reviewed. So until next time, I hope you take care and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching.